Hey, what's going on, boxers? This is Zacherzo with BuildBox, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can have multiple characters on your main menu UI, so that you can choose to start with different characters when you play your game. And let me show you right now what I'm talking about. So here's an example of a main menu UI, and right here I've got a couple characters lined up, and I've also got a little orange triangle to signify which character you're on. So what you're going to be able to do is with your finger, you're going to be able to slide across the screen and switch characters. So right now I've got the orange character toggled. And so if I press start, you can see that I've got my orange character in play here and I can play the game. And I'm going to let the character be defeated real fast. And then once I go back to the main menu, if I want to switch and play with the green character, that's easy. I just switch the green character and then now I'm playing with the green character instead. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to hook this up right now and it's real easy and fast. So. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a second character. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to my main menu or my uh, mind map, and then I'm going to go to my world. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to characters, and what I did is I just hit uh, the first character. Um, I selected the first character, and then I hit D on my keyboard so that it copies the character, and all the settings are the same, and I don't have to redo the settings, and I just drop in another image for the character to replace it. So there's that. Okay. Now, now that I've got two characters, now I can go to my main menu UI, and I can bring in something um, called multiple unlock. So you just go over here to characters, you go to multiple unlock, and you bring it in. And you can see here that once you open it up and you stretch it out, you can see that you have the multiple characters. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one since I already have this one as an example. And the other cool thing about this is you can kind of change the way that this is displayed. You can choose to have a label visibility where you can see it says characters. And then also you can change the, how much they're spread out by changing the spread right there. So if I wanted to switch it to like 100, you're going to see that they're going to get closer. Okay, and you can see now that the enemies are a little or the characters are a little bit closer there. Okay, and then the last thing that I want to mention here um, before I go, and um, the other thing is, is it's nice to have a little um, some sort of way to identify which character the player is on so that they know which one they're playing with. Now, the last thing that I wanted to show you is the character icon option. So I went to my mind map, I went to my world, I selected my character, and then you go down all the way here to the bottom, and you can add something called a character icon. And let me show you real quick. I'm going to delete this one. But you just go to Add Component, and then you go to Character Icon and select that. Okay, And so what this does is this changes the way that it's displayed on the multiple unlock. Okay, So if you want a special image and preferably something real tiny so that it's not taking up too much space in your atlases, um, you can do that here. You can add a regular icon, a, liked, uh, a locked icon, and a selected icon. And then that's it. So you've got a little bit of options there with how things are displayed on the main menu and the multiple unlock. So I hope this video was useful. And if you want to see more videos like this, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. All right, see you later, boxers. Like and subscribe.